uh, Gore had the popular vote. Yeah. You know, as they say, this is not a democracy, it's a republic. Exactly. And you can only hope that the people you send to Washington will vote, you know, your way. And they're only obligated to do it once. After that, they can go to anybody they want. Some of them. Some of them not obligated at all, no matter what is voted. Even, like I said, Pennsylvania. I think there's over there's 100, some, 100 delegates or something. 16 are committed from the vote. The other ones do whatever they want or something like that. So if anybody knows this. You know, I, I think you might, you, might, you, might, you might be able to go in as a spoiler. Ladies and gentlemen, we forgot to give you a phone number. That's all right. I think that I think there are the, uh, the Five, Verizon is on strike. You know. Yeah, it's five one six. You're looking at me. Yeah, I three three six eight five one zero. So come on down, folks. Or be, the, if, be the first caller. Be the, or if you want, you can call us at uh, six four six. Five nine five three two seven five three three two seven five yes yes we are accepting calls on both our lines today expecting uh, Russia calls that's right the Reverend uh, finally straightened out the uh, phone bill well, we're not sure and we're back well as far as we know right every now, time we we think we straightened it out there was somebody yeah, calls. we're back we're back in business the Rev is back. Yeah, we always think we are. Then all of a sudden, the first caller, I can't hear you. Boy, there's an echo. Exactly. Yeah, so we'll find out how this comes out. Hopefully, it comes out right. Uh, what else do we have going on? Uh, we don't really hear much about ISIS anymore. Well, that's because uh, we've all got politics in our blood. Especially here in New York. I yeah. mean, this is... Uh, well, you know, usually the, the, by this time, the race is already decided. So New York's votes don't really mean that much. But now we're really in the heart of it. And look at, well, you have the last, you know, that last day in June, you got California has 172 yeah. delegates. But well, let's go back. Let's get away from the Republicans for a minute, and let's go talk about Hillary and Bernie. Okay, uh, they're getting a little uh, nasty and uh, testy toward each other. Yeah, somebody was saying you'd think they don't like each other. Well, you know what? what I, don't, I don't think they do actually. <laughs> what's upsetting is you know uh, people take for granted that. You know, whoever is going to be the nominee on the Democratic side will have the support of the person who does not come out on top. And, you know, there... There's no guarantees in this life. Well, exactly. And, uh, you know, Bernie's supporters are very young. For many of them, it's their first presidential election or their first election period. Mm-hmm. They like what they hear, and who knows if they're going to go out and vote if Hillary is the nominee. Yeah, Bernie's out there, out probably. Which is sad because it sort of opens the door for the Republican Party, number one. And uh, number two, it also means that when they draw up the uh, Democratic uh, platform, you know, the... Uh, DCCC is going to have to be aware of some of the things that Bernie might want to have on the platform, you know. Uh, uh, maybe he wouldn't get completely free college, but uh, certainly, you know, uh, something up there uh, talking about college and, well, Hillary and he- looking, healthcare. Hillary's looking for reduced costs to colleges also. Did you see where Hillary would not say that she'll raise 114000 118000 yesterday? The, the, uh, they were talking about Social Security and raising the maximum wage over 114 What, the percentage? Yeah. No, the, you know, the amount, the salary. You know, was- oh, you know, the, yeah, well, I remember when, way back when, when I started teaching in, in 71, I remember you worked... You paid Social Security 11 months out of the year, 
And it was almost perfect because in December, before Christmas and Hanukkah, you found yourself with a couple of extra hundred dollars on your paycheck. That's because your salary Because was... you had already maxed out on Social Security. Not but, the max size hundred eighteen thousand. I never came even close to making that kind of money. But see, that's what you max out at, and Bernie wants to raise it. You got to say two hundred fifty thousand. Well, because to raise money. Well, exactly. I mean, look, this is one of the ways he wants to pay for his programs. You know, he maintains that if you're going to pay a little more in taxes, it's still going to be a lot less than if you would have to pay for your own medical. That's what he keeps saying. Plus the fact that, you know, that the additional tax on the one percent is, you mm. know. Well, it but, seems like but, you know, most economists don't agree with him. Well, that's the thing, you know. I mean, Obama is not nearly as liberal or progressive as Sanders is, and he couldn't get anything through with the uh, Congress that we have. Now, even if Trump is the nominee for the Republican Party, uh, you know, unfortunately, when people don't like the person at the top of the ticket, they don't always vote in the right yeah. column or something, you know, for uh, uh, House seats and Senate and the Republican Party might be in jeopardy. Well, like I said last week, I think, uh, the, the, the Democrats only need six seats to take over control of the uh, Senate again. Now, they got a long way to go to take control of the House. But, oh, yeah. But, you know, even if they gain some, some seats in the House, it just makes it that much harder for the Republican Party to stop the Democrats. But still, let's face it, as we were saying before, it's going to be virtually impossible for Bernie or Hillary to get some of the things they want to do through, you know, because you'll get somebody like McConnell who will say, you know, it's my job to make sure that Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders is a one-term president. Well, if it's a Republican president... The Democrats will stop it. No, no. Then you got then you got, no, then you got uh, McConnell saying it's my job to make sure that Donald Trump is only a one-term president. <laughs> a little Freudian slip. Yeah, right. Well, oh, by the way, when they announced the uh, that that. Uh, Colorado won the... Uh, who won the, the delegates? Who won the delegates? The caucus. Yeah, they they said, well, the Trump, the, the Trump, stop they, Trump movement worked. And, you know, they said, well, the, that wasn't supposed to be in the, you know, tweet, and then they erased it very quickly after that. They realized that really made him look like, you know, it was a stall, it was a setup, like he said. Look, he might very well be right. Look. He's waking up to a lot of things very late. Yeah. You know, uh, Cruz might be a one-term senator, but he's very shrewd and sly, yeah. okay? And he's got good people surrounding him who know how to play the game. Yeah. And like we said, like I said in the blurb, you know, Trump may have the popular vote, but Cruz is going after those delegates, and that's yeah. the only thing that matters. Yeah. And, of course, when Trump comes out with statements like he did a week or two ago when he said, if they try to wrest or take away this nomination from me, he said, there's going to be trouble in Cleveland and it's not going to come from me. He says, you know, so they, they asked him, are you saying that your people are going to riot? He says, well, I can't control them, you know, at the uh, convention. Well, also, I'm thinking a lot of them also will not vote for the Republican side, which is going to hurt the Republicans. Uh, we have a caller. All right, let's see. Oh, that's the same gentleman's last time. Good evening. How are you tonight? All right. All right. So. Uh... All right. You're calling early tonight, huh? Yeah, man. 
Wow. You know, he doesn't want to get closed out by uh, some religious discussion. I can't blame him. <laughs> yeah, that guy was getting a little carried away. Well, you know. Yeah, he was definitely getting a little carried away. By the right. way, I have to tell you, I told a few people what you said last week about Trump being the Pied Piper of idiots. It got a great laugh out of everybody I spoke to. Well, the whole political system, the Pied Pipers. Oh, yeah, I mean, the, this whole thing is... Uh, it's true. Yeah. I, I, where are you out of? I forgot. Uh, I'm out of Florida. That's right. Okay. We get many calls from Florida. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So what do you have to say this week? The floor is yours. Well, I still don't think you're going to give it to Trump. Well, you and know... I believe... Um, they're going to pick somebody out of the hat and the Republican Party is going to, it's going to explode on itself. You know, I, 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 needless to say, I've been listening as you, I'm sure, you know, when you're a political junkie, you can't help it whether you agree or disagree. You know, it's just you can't get enough of this stuff. It's either going to make you laugh or turn your stomach. But I was, I've been listening to Trump and Cruz and Bernie and Hillary and Kasich. And on the Republican side, it seems to me that Kasich is like almost the only adult in the room. And why he can't seem to get people to rally around him, I, I have no answer for that. Can you come up with something? Well, Bill Clinton liked him because he helped bring about the AR-15 ban. And that's a no-no in Republican land. Yeah. Well, and so he'll never get the case. Each, uh, the the backing, you know, that he needs. Besides, so they say he's not a conservative. They don't want to back him. Well, when you compare right. him to the other he's two, not he's not certainly not a con. I mean, he has conservative feelings about certain things. You know, he has conservative leanings, but he's. Nothing like Cruz. Also, okay. Cruz is not willing to negotiate and work with people. Kasich is. He'll give up something to get something, and I don't think Cruz would. Well, what I found disturbing at yesterday's town hall in Buffalo was uh, Chuck Todd had asked him about this personhood bill, that the fetus is a person from the time of conception, and People are applauding. Now, I know that Buffalo, Western New York, is much more conservative than downstate here, okay, where we live. But um, I was just I was just very surprised to hear that. Well, when people are religious, that's what they believe. You know, it's just the way it is. And, and you know, he doesn't believe, at least I... I Unless he changed his mind, I don't know. But uh, in cases of rape or incest, okay, uh, you, how can you force a woman to carry a child to term like that? You know, we never asked you, what's your leanings towards? You were leaning towards the Democrats, Republicans, none of them? I'm a libertarian. I think I remember you saying that once before. Yeah, it's um live and let live. It's yeah, live and let live, but the libertarian party is more of a club than it's real party, you know what I mean? And our founders didn't want parties. Our founders wanted independent and all of us to be independent. Well, I tell you, uh, according to uh you know, surveys that are being taken, more and more Americans are registering as independents. You know, they don't have any party yeah, fi affiliation. And, and the only time they lose out is like in a primary like New York where it's closed and independents are not allowed to vote unless they've declared themselves as Democrats or Republicans, at least in the primary. Yeah, the two-party the two system's got to go. And I think Trump's kind of exposing that. That's what's a good thing about Trump, and he's just even Bernie's picking up on him. He Bernie's saying, 
I win these states, but she's getting more delegates. It's true. They they even they they had asked.